a theme of space using light, color, and shape, will be transforming the inside of Franklin Street Works beginning this Saturday. A group exhibition titled These Transitional Spaces will be on display at the non-for-profit contemporary art space throughout the summer. Coming to see the show that one has the opportunity and time to experience different spaces, different temporal modes. We've had a lot of um, really fantastic discussions about deep time and space and um, how art and objects are situated within it. The artists who say they've admired each other's work for years have brought each of their own styles and techniques to the show. Like Alana Helprin, a trained stone carver. Through carving, I became interested in learning more about geology. And so I sort of left carving behind and got more and more involved in the processes around geology. Halperin's interest in geology soon brought her to a small town in France where her art originates. It's a piece of limestone formed in a petrifying cave located in a volcanic mountain. The cave is actually forming the piece of work. When you see the piece, you'll see one, pe one side has a perfect impression of the mold, and the other side is rough like the surface of a stalactite or a cave wall. Artist Adam Putnam plays with the idea of space using a video feedback loop that creates the illusion of a video within a video. So there's a, a one video projector projects the image of this little architectural model I made uh, with a little surveillance camera. I'm hoping to combine the idea of the video space and the architectural space, but nothing's real. It's like one of the most broadest <laughs> topics for things. But hopefully, like with the show and the selection of work, we can articulate something contemporary and something now. A free public reception will take place Saturday, June 30th from 5 to 8 p.m. The exhibition will be open for viewing until August 26th.